everyone, it's Suki here and welcome to the Fashion Network. Since I've uploaded a video sitting down chatting to you guys on YouTube and I am fully aware of that. So today as seen from the title, I'm going to do a massive, massive haul for you all just to compensate for all of the times that I have not uploaded. <laughs> I'm really sick right now so I might sound more quiet and less energetic than usual. <laughs> Please excuse that. Stop blabbering on and without further ado, let's get started. Um, the first bottom I got is from Bershka. This is a really really nice loose style high-waisted checkered jeans. I realized that checkered, like checks and like tartan patterns is really in trend right now and I've seen people wearing this with Doc Martens. It looks so flattering so I just had to put my hand into one of these and join the trend. Another item I got from Bershka is also very very trendy right now which are cargo pants and this one I absolutely adore. I wear this to death and I have received so many compliments from my pair of cargo pants. I really like wearing this to clubbing and just going out in general with my um, Doc Martens. It looks so badass, so nice and I just really like the industrial look it gives out. And it also comes with a really nice chain, which is the detail that dragged me into buying this pants. Like, I really, really like the chain detailing. I also got these joggers from Adidas, which I am wearing right now. Whoops, I am not wearing any shoes, but yeah. I will show you how I look in the um, insert clip. But um, yeah, it's just, I got these from an outlet store in Japan. They're really comfortable. They're actually from the male section, which I'm actually surprised that it fits me. Maybe because I got it from Japan, and you know, Japanese people are quite tiny. So this is extra small for male and it's just perfect fit. I love to wear this to lounge around and look stylish as well. I'm really into Depop recently since I feel like it's such a good ethical way to um, purchase clothes. And I bought a few items from Depop and I'm going to share with you guys right now. So the first thing I got from Depop is this really nice baby pink blush skirt that I was going to wear for Valentine's Day but I didn't wear it for some reason. I changed my mind. But I just feel like this is a really nice pretty A-line skirt that you can dress it up or dress it down. The item I got from Depop is an absolute dream. Like I actually love this item to death. Like I got so many compliments for this pair of jeans and I just the best purchase I've ever made. It's this pair of jeans. It has a beautifully painted Hokusai wave on it which is so gorgeous like oh my gosh it looks even better in person like when I first received the um, parcel I was like I didn't really have high expectations because I didn't want to you know disappoint myself it wasn't that expensive it was only 40 pounds and 40 pounds for a pair of jeans that's hand painted on is really really a bargain I think because Topshop jeans are nearly the same price and I don't know this jean is just really good high quality it is great and it's hand painted on and it's just so beautifully painted on. It looks printed. I'll put the girl's um, Depop username here. She sells really nice painted clothes, jeans, and there's also this really nice detail at the bum area. Done with bottoms, now let's move on to tops. So I did a few purchase in Brandy Melville when I went back to Hong Kong. So um, the first thing I got from Hong Kong Brandy Melville is this really nice polo neck short sleeve top that I'm wearing right now. I just really like the fit. It's really small which hugs my torso really well and it's super flattering. Like it's also cropped. It's just here. Picked up from Brandy Melville is this really nice mock neck um, stripey top that I normally like to layer underneath bigger jumpers because I really like the neck detailing. I feel like the stripe is just such a nice color combination. Very unusual but when you like wear it underneath like for example a big black jumper the neck detailing is just really nice. For example my Facebook profile picture I wear this underneath a Nike oversized um, sweater and I think it's really nice. I also like to wear this alone. Next I also try to shop in Shein for the first time. Yeah I've done a lot of things during the time I'm gone. I just did a lot of different ways of shopping like on Depop which I've never done before until I moved to the UK and I know this is quite big in UK so I try and it's just like a new addiction for me. Like, you find the quirkiest thing on Depop and I also have my own store in Depop right now. The username is right here. Please check it out. So this one I bought from Shein and it is the first time for me um, 
purchasing anything from Shein. I really didn't really have a high expectation for Shein because first of all, it's super cheap and second of all, um, I've seen online reviews about how the quality is really bad for Shein and stuff like that but surprisingly, what I bought is actually pretty surprisingly good. So I bought this crop, very crop v-neck top from Shein and I've received so many compliments since wearing it. Like everyone says it suits my aesthetic so well, it's so flattering on me, where did I get it? Like when I tell them it's from Shein, they're like, what? That does not look like Shein. It looks so much more expensive than Shein. I got it for like, I forgot, like um, 15 pounds, 10 pounds, it's just around that price range. I also got something else from Bershka, which is this really cute big oversized jumper. Um, I actually hadn't had my eye on this for quite a while already. Like when I was Black Friday shopping, I wanted this so bad but it wasn't on sale for some weird reason so I just didn't get it because I feel like it's not worth it and I have other jumper as well. But I just really like how it is checked and as I said in the beginning of the video, like I really like checkered print squares. I feel like they're really in trend right now. And then I went back to Bershka a few days ago. Um, it is like 60% off this jumper and I was like, damn it, I definitely have to get it. So I got it and here I have it. I especially like this like zipper detailing, like half zipper detailing. And there's also this front pocket. Oh, okay, I just realized the front pocket is fake, but there is a pocket in the side, like a hoodie. So really, really nice. The second to last top I got is this oh my god this is so beautiful i see this everywhere on instagram like i'm not even joking like i saw um gabby no nikki 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 wearing this in one of her photo shoots and i just think it just complements her blue hair so well and i was vintage shopping the other day with my friend in just downtown sheffield and um there's this store called Olgar, which i will put um a link to their store down the address down in the description box and i found this gem in their store it was 18 pounds if i remember it correctly editing my video right now and i just realized i don't have the footage on my tommy hilfiger hoodie i can't believe i actually filmed the whole thing and without pressing the record button so i'm just going to quickly show you guys because i really really like this hoodie and um so I got this from Depop as well. I got it for nearly 90 pounds. So I definitely have to show you guys because um, I love the color red. It's just really beautiful. I think it suits me so well. Just great detailing on the side, great detailing on the back side as well. Just the prices, 360 degrees, amazing. Next, let's talk about shoes. I bought a few pairs of shoes and I want to show you all guys right now. So the first pair, of shoes I got is from Bershka and I got it for nine pounds because it was on sale it was um originally like 40 pounds and I got it for nine pounds and I had to get a size bigger since they only had um size 39 and I'm normally a 38 but um I still fit it's just a bit loose but it's fine so these are it is the chunky shoes from Bershka and it is it wrecked like it's such in such a bad condition because I wore it to skateboarding and I just wore it to hiking as well I wore it to the alpaca farm today just mud everywhere on the shoe but um I just wanted to get a pair of shoes that I, I'm fine with getting dirty with which is what I actually used it for just to make it dirty so I've got which I've mentioned quite a lot of times in this video Doc Martens Doc Martens are my Doc Martens I got it um, during Black Friday, which is actually quite a while ago. I'm really sorry because it's just been so long since I've actually sat down and filmed a video for you guys. So there's just so many things that happened that just like, I, I don't even know it's that long ago. But I got this uh, for Black Friday and I got this for £103. I'm not sure though, but um, it's just the cheapest. I got it from Dawes Kill and they only have the cherry red. <clears throat> In stock, I was gonna get it in black since I really like the Jaden platform ones. It just makes me so powerful and I like, feel like I can just rule the world when I wear these dog buttons. But um, I think the cherry ones look better than the black one now since I've been wearing it a lot and I just feel like it just the color is just nicer and it's just more interesting. A bit heavy, but um, you get used to it. Because I'm gonna show you that I bought is from Zara. I also bought this in sale and I can't really remember how much it was, but it's around like um, 20 pounds ish. It's really cheap, it's not that expensive. I don't really like to invest on really, really expensive shoes unless I really like them. 
like Dr. Martens. They're the most expensive shoes I own, except for my Gucci, which was actually my mom's, and I just took it because she didn't like it. So that's not really what I asked for. So anyway, I really like how like reflective they are. Quirky, they're like platform shoes as well. I'm really into platform, like big chunky platform shoes now. I'm nearly done. I told you I have so much to show you guys, and I think I'm gonna do a second try on haul after this because this is not even like all of the clothes I've bought throughout this time I haven't posted. I feel like this is just half of the clothes, and I have plenty more to show you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see another one of these just to finish off my haul as a whole. So jackets wise now. Um, I picked up this really, really gorgeous, beautiful, um, reversible jacket from Japan when I went to Japan during Christmas, which was a while ago again, I'm really sorry, but um, yeah, I did actually update, uh, upload a vlog, and you might have seen me wear, wearing this jacket in the vlog, which I'll put a link somewhere down there and put a card up here. But um, yeah, it's just really nice. Um, this reminds me of the teddy bear coat, which is super, super trendy right now and um, it is also a bomber jacket on the other side it is so warm kind of heavy as well but um, I love how oversized this is just make me feel like a teddy bear so cute um, love the color as well and yeah it's, it's from Zara this is my last garment that I'm gonna show y'all which is from Primark this is like a also a teddy bear coat material but it is more like a structured format it's not like a laid back teddy bear coat it kind of reminds me of like a general officer jacket but filled with teddy bear coat fur i have no idea but i just saw this in primark and it was only 10 pounds and i just thought i don't have any coats jackets that are like this kind of green and i really like the material i also like the buttons so i just got it and i think it looks really guys that's the end of my massive haul i have never talked that much in my entire life and my throat is just gonna hate me right after this i'm just gonna chug myself in lemon and honey water but it actually works it's really good so tip right there as very soon um please subscribe to my channel oh and thank you so much for 400 subscribers i am so blessed to have all of you guys here with me, I'm actually super grateful. Like I've never thought I would get like 400 people like actually wanting to commit to watch my videos of me blabbering around. But um, I guess you like it and I like making it. So I guess I'm just gonna wrap up this video be before you just get really bored of me. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, have a great weekend, have a great night, have a great wherever you live. Um, Just yeah. <laughs>